Not so fast, buddy. Back it up. Got no need for pretty boys here. We're looking for someone. Let me guess. First time in Walmart, kid. Yeah? So? So people can't just walk through the dumb's front door. Especially men. How about me, then? Can I go inside? Maybe. But you're gonna wish you didn't. You know Leslie? She's kinda cute! Homely, but cute. Excuse you? Kinda cute's not gonna cut it. Come on, can't you help us out? Do you have any idea what you're getting yourself into? Aerith. Seriously, Les, she's not half bad. With a little work, I bet she'd clean up real nice. Cloud, requesting permission to kill. Denied. <sighs> if you're really sure you want to join an audition, then you're gonna need to get official approval. And who can give us that? The trio. The only ones in town who are considered authorities on Corneo's particular tastes. First, there's Chocobo Sam. And then there's Madame M over at the massage parlor. Last but not least, there's the Honeybee Inn's Andrea Rodea. They're an eccentric bunch, to put it mildly. And you should know they don't recommend just any girl stupid enough to come knocking. Hmm. Duly noted. Thanks for the info. We'll be back soon. Sure about this? If you've got any better ideas. Not really. So that's the way it is. Hmm. Tifa's been invited into the Don's estate. Huh? But to earn such a privilege, you must first win the approval of one of the trio. Right? Meaning, I now know what I must do to save her. Stay strong, Tifa! Help is on the way! Johnny's coming, baby! Not the sharpest tool in the shed, is he? Nope. I'll tell you a thousand times. Got nothing for you. Now scram. Wait, here's out. You're one of the trio, right? I want you to get me into the audition. Huh? Pretty, please? Why not? Really? Sure. Next time an audition comes around, I'll put your name in the hat. Next time will be too late. Can't you get me into this one? You want in now? No can do, sweetheart. Already recommended Tifa. She's got this in the bag. How can you be so sure Corneo will pick Tifa? You never know, he might pick me. Damn, you really do want in, don't you? Sure do. Then how's about we play for it? Call it, Missy. Heads or tails? Yes, right. And I'll grant you your wish. <sighs> yes, wrong. And you'll leave me in peace. Heads. Tail. You lose. <sighs> hey, don't look so glum. You're a pretty enough gal. It's not quite Corneo's cup of tea. But if only the Don will do, try convincing one of the other two. 
That's why it's a trio, not just the Mio. Now skedaddle. Wait. Mind if I see that coin of yours? Trick coin. I had a hunch. That's cheating! And that's the wall market way. Lesson learned. Still cheating. So where later? Pretty rough. I think this is where they said to me. I guess they're closed right now? Sign out front? All I got is materia. Thanks, buddy. Supposed to go down Is like the this. Place? I think so. Just wanted to see Andrea. Let me handle this. You wait out here, okay? It was like... And why would I do that? No, I'm coming with. I'm not really sure that. You're a man of many talents, but talking isn't one of them. Good evening. Oh. Hey, uh. Welcome to the heart and soul of Wall Market, the Honey Bee Inn. Is there a honey boy or girl whose company you desire? Uh, we're here to see Andrea Rodea. Ah, the shining star of the Honey Bee Inn. Now, are you the one who made the appointment, sir? Can I have your name? Oh, we don't have an appointment. I see. I'm terribly sorry, sir. An appointment is required, and the earliest available slot is three years from now. Three years?! All we want is five minutes. He can spare that. I need his help for the Corneo audition. Yes, well, regardless of the circumstances, you cannot meet him without an appointment. Is there really no other way? It is rare. But Mr. Rodea does occasionally extend invitations to individuals who catch his eye. Otherwise, I'm sorry, but there really is nothing that can be done. I guess that's that then. Oh well, let's try someone else.
Marlene is the greatest honey girl there ever was. It's an undisputed truth. Yes, it's always best to be prepared for the worst, wouldn't you agree? Eh? Keep this a quality monster insurance is more essential than ever these days. What's that? You're very interested in the coverage we offer? Only our premium policy will do for you, sir. It's always best to be prepared for the worst, wouldn't you agree? Quality monster insurance is more essential than ever these days. No, no way! You've lost your marbles, man! My marbles are secure, sir. Tis you who are crazy. Aren't you that leaf house? Uh, hey! What the hell, Merc? Digging into people's personal affairs in this town is a huge no-no. What are you doing here? <sighs> well, if you must know, I've wanted to be a dancer ever since I was a little girl. I come here at night to live the dream. <sighs> I'd appreciate it if you didn't tell the children, okay? I practice every second I can. It's the only way I'll become the best. I've always wanted to dance for a living. I've always wanted to dance for a living. Really cleaning up tonight, eh? This is gonna be amazing. Look at you. Come on, old man. No more drink. What do you think? I'm so lost. There's a restaurant. If you can believe it. Two of you, step right up. 
Now then, what manner of massage do you desire? Say what? Is this your first time in our establishment? Mm-hmm. We are a hand massage parlor. An excess of fatigue and tension can make even the simplest task a terrible strain. It is our pleasure to relieve our patrons of that tension. <laughs> and what better way to seek relief than through the skilled ministrations of a professional? So now that we understand each other, what manner of massage do you desire? We're not customers. Then you are... Hoping you can help us get an invite to an audition with oh, Don... Oh, love of... Say another word and I'll shove this fan right down your throat. Oh. Uh. Ugh, this is the last thing I need. You're young and stupid, and I suppose that means you think I'll let you off easy. So, you want what? A favor? Well, here's the thing. This is a massage parlor, a respectable establishment. But if you don't require our services, then tell me! Is there any reason I shouldn't have you dragged outside and shot for wasting my valuable time? Well... Hmm... Name? Cloud Strife. Hand. Huh? Give it to me! The strong, firm hands of a fighter, yet they possess a certain elegance and grace. Okay, Cloud. Let's see what you're made of. After that, we'll talk. So, which course will it be? <laughs> then make your way to the room in the back. And wait. Cloud? <laughs> this exclusive treatment is reserved for our most well-to-do patrons. First, the hand cream. A generous coating for each and every one of your richly deserving fingers. Let's start with the tips. That's it. Relax. I'm only here to help. Oh, oh. oh did that hurt? No. <laughs> then I'll move on to the base of the fingers. Let's see if we can't improve your circulation and get that blood flowing. No, don't fight it. Stress is poison to the body. And finally, some gentle stimulation for the palm. No more than a touch. Just like this. Oh, what was that? A cry of pleasure? Is this how you like it? How about this? Or maybe this? <laughs> If that was to your liking, do come again. Right. <sighs> How was it? Huh? You okay? Yeah. You're acting weird, Cloud. I am? Really weird. Hmm. Think you'll make a habit of it? All right then. I think I've seen everything I need to see. So? Tell me what you want, and we'll take it from there.
Sure you're okay? Yeah. You're one of the trio, right? I want to get into Corneo's next audition. And why in the world would you want to do that? Hmm? Okay. Really? But you cannot go dressed like that. Huh? I could never send Corneo a candidate wearing such a plain-looking getup. Doing so would call my position as one of the trio into question. Is something wrong with my outfit? No matter what I think? Well, I think it's pretty cool. Look, just take it outside the parlor, would you? Sorry, we'll stop. So, what should I do about the outfit? Hmm. <laughs> You just leave that to me. I'll put you in a dress so fabulous, you'll look like a million gill. So long as you can afford it. How much? What I said. But don't worry. It's obvious you can't afford a dress with that kind of price tag. So listen, I have an idea. Uh. There's an underground coliseum in this town. Up for a fight, Cloud? Good. Because I'm getting you into that arena. If you win the tournament, I'll transform Aerith into a drop-dead gorgeous beauty. There any prize money? <laughs> yes, for the person who got you in. So, what do you say? All right. That's what I like to hear. You'll need this. They're already letting fighters inside. You should hurry. Run along. ourselves into nothing good i wouldn't expect a fair fight in this town think we can win it all that's one thing i'm definitely sure of i appreciate the confidence just don't get too cocky okay How'd you like a piping hot bun filled with the finest, most delicious and delectable honey you've ever tasted? I hope you will continue to help me gather vital information for my research. Then I invite you to ready your portable battle simulator.
do this. Work, Cloud. This is incontrovertible proof that the universe has a sense of humor. Now that you have a fun new partner in Fat Chocobo, you can work together to squash Shinra like a bug. I look forward to receiving all of your future battle intel submissions.
The doors are now open, David. Please open from the right. What's this? You're here to compete? <laughs> I hope you know you're cutting it really close. So, the two of you are a team? Team? No, it's just me. Yes, the two of us are a team. I need to get into that audition, but I won't let anyone else fight my battles for me. That includes you, mister. All right, team it is. Head to the waiting area down below. You need to take the elevator down. Don't keep them waiting. Down, down, down we go. So, how deep does this thing go, you think? I wonder how many people are fighting. Hey, you're not nervous, are you? Nope. Really? You're even more quiet than usual. Just trying to focus. Like you should. What happened to your face? I just needed a little scratch, you know? So I signed up for the preliminaries and... Well... I hope you guys realize what you're getting into. I don't want to scare you, but... If you can make a run for it, you should. Cloud and Aerith, your match will begin shortly. Please make your way to the gate. We're in way too deep to back out now.
You two ready? Try not to get yourselves killed. For our next match, we welcome two fighters, a young couple no less. Talk about a bad day! And this is their first tournament, the bad first date, and most likely their last, inexperienced as they are. Or are they? Give it up for Cloud and Eric! Go home, go home, you suck! <laughs> Couple, get out of here with that lovey-dovey bullshit! What's up with the pole? Gonna do a little dance for us, baby girl? Okay, now I'm mad. Zero, one of Walmart's gets own, a renowned master of beasts! Will his pets make a meal of our two challengers? The Barberry Eyes! They've already been given their appetizer! Their hunger for flesh and fear is unquenchable! The demon talks of hell! The Penguin Stalkers! No play feet! You brought animals? There's no rule that says you gotta fight man to man. We're in for a treat, ladies and gentlemen. Who will prevail in this brutal contest between man and beast? This could be over in an instant, so don't even blink. Without further ado, the fourth match of the first round begins now! <laughs> 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 Well, that's one win down. Go team! Mm. What's wrong? The rules don't make sense. Yeah, true. But maybe it'll be better in the next match? Nah. Wouldn't bet on it. Better to expect the worst. Cloud and Aerith. Your match will begin shortly. Please make your way. That's to what the they call beginner's luck. But the next match won't be so easy. Ready to rock? Just remember, try not to die. For the second match in our spectacular semifinals! Fresh from their first date with death, I present the Lucky Cowboy! We're like unlucky for the rest of us! Give it up once again for Cloud and Eris! Couple of my ears! What the hell you two trying to pull? You assholes cost me a fortune! Yeah, yeah! Their opponents screamers in this trapyard! Thieves and killers through and through! Two criminal for common criminals! The worst of the worst! Ladies and gentlemen, check your pockets, because they may have already robbed you blind! The most contemptible sons of bitches this town of Walmart Max Benefits! Looking gentlemen, 
It would seem that there are actually eight members of Beck's badasses. Hey, that's cheating. The only rule here is that there are no rules. Yeah! If Corneo says it's okay, then you got to suck yeah. it up. Yeah! Suck it! The dive has granted his approval! This is ridiculous. The odds are overwhelmingly stacked against this. This could be a real bloodbath. So I implore you, ladies and gentlemen, don't look away, or you may miss the best part. The second match of the Corneo Cup semifinals begins oh, wow. now. I did give him a massage, you know. His palm told quite the tale. He's cheated death more than a few times. <laughs> so have half the people in this town. Anyway, we're both still alive. Call it. <sighs> there you go again. One of these days, your luck is going to run out. When I fall from grace, Maybe I'll land in your parlor once more. <clears throat> that is one mistake I will never repeat. <laughs> you gotta admit, Andy, the way he moves is totally amazing! Andy! <sighs> Next up, the big finale. Yeah. I thought you'd be happier. Just thinking about what we might face next. But you know, we've made it this far. I'm sure we can handle anything they throw at us. Cloud and Aerith. The final match will begin shortly. Please make your way to the gate. Man, you proved me wrong. You guys are pretty good. It's the final match. You good to go? I've got a lot of money riding on you two. Win it for me. Ladies and gentlemen, our time together is almost over. Tonight's thrilling Corneo Cup, filled with unprecedented upsets and drama, has only one match to go! <laughs> we know. We're just as disappointed as you are. But ladies and gentlemen, all good things must...
has come to an end. So let's celebrate by getting so damn loud, they'll hear us up on the blind! Yeah! Come on! Once more, the sweethearts who surprised us with upset after spectacular upset. The power couple with the boundless love for bloodshed. The champions of Madame M, Cloud, and Eric! Executioners, Chocobo Sam's champions, Cutting and Sleeping! Come on! Robots? More like Shinra armor. More like cheating! <sighs> Who will walk away with the one million guild prize? Get ready for a fight guarantee to go down in history! The final match of the Corneo Cup begins now! rather well. I was looking forward to a little temper tantrum. Well, you bet it all on a toss. Sometimes you get burned by Lady Luck. Every coin has two sides. You're right, of course. Even if they are both the same. <laughs> Later. And now... I believe I have a prize to collect. Sorry. The madam will have to wait. The Don's demanding that we tack on one more match, it seems. What? If they win out, then you get paid in full. Now hold on just a goddamn minute! His call, not mine. <laughs> now that that's over, we can go save Tifa. So we'll head back to Madame M's, get you changed, and then it's off to Corneo's. Right. Sorry to be the bearer of bad news, but you still have one fight left. What do you mean? The crowd loved your show a little too much. People were placing hefty bets, much heftier than you can possibly imagine. Corneo's going to milk this for as much as he can. Meaning what? You face and defeat Corneo's fighter of choice, and only then will you be declared winners of the tournament. Hey, that wasn't the deal! Don't you think I know that?! Ah! You greedy bastard! Scum-sucking piece of shit-festering asshole! Uh... 
But that's the way it is. Corneo's the one who makes the rules around here. But if you win this match, Corneo will have to accept your victory. And the crowd will make sure he does. So this is the last one? <laughs> I sure hope so.